Welcome back. In this video, we're going to focus on getting more clicks. Now that you've, you've crafted your email message and we've really made sure that you have the highest open rates possible, we need to focus on making sure those opens turn into clicks. So I'm going to go through and show you some of the best ways, some of the sneakiest tricks I know to increase the click-through rate of any email. And the first and one of the highest click-through rates uh, and, and one of the easiest to deploy uh, by far is something we call the press play, right? The press play. So you'll see just a normal email and right here adding a picture of an image that's obviously a video with a play button, all right? Adding a play button to uh, an image with a play button is going to increase your click-through rates uh, dramatically. So there's one version. Here's a better version. Uh, we, we went in and did some testing and when we added the image with the play button plus the description underneath, it gave us an additional boost. So if you're sending to content or to a sales video or any page, whether it's a, a demo video, any page that has leveraging video, I urge you to use the press play. You'll see a huge boost in click-through rates uh, and start to really optimize uh, the, no the amount of traffic that you're driving from email. Uh, now, this uh, we call your thoughts is the highest click-through rate email we've ever seen, at least this strategy. We've never been able to duplicate it or beat it. Uh, we've been able to, to have better it with some, some new variations, but the your thoughts is basically a, uh, a question. A question uh, and four to five answers. Now, it looks like a survey. It looks like a single question survey, and I'll tell you, here's the cool thing. In our example, absolutely all of these options go to the exact same place. Now, when we first did this, uh, when, we, when we first did this particular survey, and this one says, uh, Dear survivalists, what's the best legal way to make absolute sure your valuable guns aren't confiscated in a crisis? Take your best guess. You might be surprised by the answer. So I'll tell you, to leverage this, you have to do a couple of things. One, you have to ask a question that people actually care about and don't exactly know the answer to, or at least think they don't know definitively the answer to. And two, maybe most importantly, you have to actually answer the question wherever you're sending them. You have to answer the question wherever you're sending them. It's just mean to open a loop to ask a question that you're not answering. So in this, in this example, we have four options. A, hide your guns underground. B, build your own gun. C, buy a gun with uh, with a normal background check and hope for the best, D, claim your guns were stolen if the government comes for them. Well, the answer here is actually E, none of the above. But all of those are, are possible answers. We were able to go in uh, on the second time that we deployed this and tag people based on their answer and then actually cater the engagement campaign that triggered after based on what they thought. But I'll tell you, just strictly positioning a question and giving four possible links that all go to the same page almost doubled the click-through rate of an already fantastic email. And it's not the only time we've done it. We've done it again here in a, in, in a different uh, industry. So when we were polling our lists about blogging, so this was a uh, digital marketer, we said, how much money do you believe bloggers really make? Please take your best guess below to see the answer. And four possible choices. And at the end of the day, again, none of these choices were right. Now, we gave them a little out here and said, or skip the survey and just see the results below. So adding this in gave us an additional click-through rate, or an additional, or I'm sorry, additional bump in click-through. So if you can ask a question, if you can ask especially a controversial question uh, and, and put four answers, you're giving four ways for someone to, one, give their opinion, everyone wants their opinion to be heard, and, and four different options to click. All right, four different options to click. So here's the best of both worlds, right? We have both uh, a video and a survey. So which item is more valuable than gold in a crisis is the question. And here you have uh, a, a guy with a gun and a play button and three possible answers and a little curiosity twist, answer now to see the surprising item more valuable than gold. This one worked like crazy. All right, so start thinking, what do you have that you can send people to that you're asking a question that you're already answering? More than likely, if, you're, if you have any sales process whatsoever, you're answering questions. Now, it needs to be somewhat predominant if you're going to display it uh, in your email marketing, but if you can pull that out, if you can duplicate this, I promise you, in your segmentation campaigns, in your ascension campaigns, in your engagement campaigns, you will not 
generate an email or not produce an email that gets a higher click-through rate than, than one using this strategy, All right? Um, let's see, here's, here's another one where we've used the press play and we've had multiple options down here, right? There's three videos just below the fold. Now, here's a big one, video in email. So this looks like we're actually playing a video. This guy is actually on the other side of the camera right now, uh, recording me and probably tired of listening to my voice. But this is strictly an animated GIF. It's just an animated GIF, but it gets movement, right? It gets movement into the email, and I have to know more. The play button here, uh, we're all pre-programmed to know when we see a play button to click it, especially if there's already video in motion. I'm gonna click it to try to figure out how to turn up the sound because, again, it's not actually a video. It's an animated GIF. It's an animated image. These are simple to make. Uh, there's dozens of free apps that can turn your videos into animated GIFs, into these little mini movies that can instantly be added into any email. This one exploded click-through rates, uh, exploded click-through rates. So if you can add this to your content or your emails, it'll do the same. Here are more examples of us having video and email. In this case, we're just scrolling through a blog post just absolutely scrolling through blog posts. Here we're scrolling through and showing uh, another blog post. So these we leveraged in mailing content. We wanted to increase uh, email click-through rate on content mails to actually show them not just a snippet of the blog, that they, uh, blog post they were going to read, but actually showing a walkthrough of the entire blog post. Okay, so you can use these in content emails, in promotional emails, in broadcast emails, uh, in, in triggered emails. Go in and use these animations and animated GIFs in your email to, to really see your click-through rates go through the roof. Here are a couple other examples. You can see here we put lead magnets into computer screens. So when we're driving uh, segmentation mails, right, we're driving segmentation campaigns, we're broadcasting the list, trying to get people to self-select to enter into an engagement campaign. So we want them to download the ultimate swipe file. Uh, we want them to download this, uh, the, the machine here. We want them to download 212 blog post ideas. We're not only showing them the cover in a computer, we're actually flashing through the deliverable. We're flashing through the lead magnet. We're showing the video being shot. Again, here we're flashing through the lead magnet. We're subtly showing it on a computer. For us, most of our, uh, most of our end users on, are on Mac machines. So we're showing it not only in a computer, but in a computer that there's a high probability that they're using or want to use. Right, so showing a preview of what they're going to get when they go to the next page, not only increased click-through rates, but when we tested it, it increased the conversion rate of the landing page and the, uh, the lead capture page that it drove people to. The ultimate, ultimate click-through rate in, in any type of email animation is the, the final countdown. So we developed a plugin called Outta Timer, O-U-T-T-A-T-I-M-R, not because we're edgy or cool, uh, because the full uh, spelled out name was already taken. But in this case, we've developed a, a, a simple WordPress plugin that you put in a countdown clock. You say uh, it ends at this time. So when we build a, a closing email, when a sale is ending and we can leverage the stopwatch uh, icon in the subject line and you open the mail and in the mail it says time is running out and there's an animated countdown timer in the email and they click through and it goes to a sales page and there's a countdown timer on the sales page. We've now optimized every aspect of that from open to click to conversion on the actual page. So if you don't have out of timer, I'm going to strongly suggest that you go to outoftimer.com and you pick it up. I believe it's depending on on uh, if it's on special or not, it's between 10 and $40. And it's worth uh, about 1,000 times that uh, day and day over. Okay, so flash them. And then we did a test where we ran static banners versus, versus simple flash animation, uh, almost double, almost double the click-through rate when we animated this. So if you have uh, newsletters, if you're not leveraging your newsletters with uh, either internal or external um, uh, promos or, I'm sorry, ad blocks, then I would strongly suggest you do so. When doing so, I would strongly suggest that you animate. You put some movement in your email. So much of this stuff, when you're optimizing for clicks, is just about catching the eye, just about showing movement to get that, just that microsecond of attention that otherwise you would have lost, right? Otherwise it would have been gone, they would have been gone, but 
catching that attention actually gets them to not only read, it gets them to click. All right. So if you take everything we've talked about with, uh, with the subject lines, those nine ways and, the, the, and, and the, the different ways we just went through here, you'll be able to optimize the open and click of any email. Right? Any email, no matter where it's at in your campaigns that we've talked about. So in the next video, we're going to talk about tracking your results. So benchmarking the results you have now, setting goals, and how and when to track those goals and what to do with the numbers. So I'm looking forward to it, and I'll see you in the next video.